Jinsing, no. Jinsing, so. This is a spoiler-filled review of Else Heartbreak from the perspective of someone who likes computery things. How computery, you ask? You can take a look at my GitHub page. I've written small programs to help me make videos, export programs from Else Heartbreak save games, make dwarves pregnant in Dwarf Fortress, take screenshots, and so forth. If you want to play the game as the original author intended, STOP CRIMINAL SCUM! This is not the review for you. There are lots of other reviews by folks who are less computery, and their reviews may be more accurate previews for the experience you might have. By watching beyond this point, you accept that there will be spoilers and are not concerned about them. Let's move on. Else Heartbreak is a sandbox set in a small town called Dorisburg. There's lots of people I don't care about who don't have much to say. Following the main quest is good for folks starting from zero in programming, since it requires overcoming simple programming challenges to advance. I am more interested in messing around with the world and all the items within it. If you know a bit about programming, you are basically a deity once you get a modifier. Since I wanted to get there as quickly as possible, I went to the hotel computer and unlocked Hotel Corridor Door 4 and got that one. Else Heartbreak uses Sprack, a language that looks like a mashup of Python and shell scripting with its own tweaks. Its style of loops makes me wonder why we have separate for and while loops in many other languages. It is sort of object oriented since all the objects except people can be programmed. The compiler is good about catching obvious errors but you can still write things that it won't catch. With loops, conditionals, functions, and remote function calls, you can make just about anything do your bidding. Now, there are still rules to follow. What would a programming game be without rules after all? Every object has its own starting set of APIs. Some of them, like computers, can be given more APIs with the power of screwdrivers. Some, like keys, cannot be. I wanted to create a map where I could click a spot and get teleported to it, or perhaps get a guiding trail, or maybe a guiding turtle. Unfortunately, you can't hack the map. Oh well, maybe you can't hack every object, but you can do an awful lot of them. Objects with the Internet API can connect to other objects and run functions on them. This makes any internetable object extremely powerful, since you can centralize lots of useful functions on one or a few machines and call them. I like sticking functions on Computer One at the Lodge because it has such a simple name. There are also some interesting properties to the Dorisburg network. There's no domain names, routing, or IPs, so the network is very flat. Any computer that can initiate connections can connect to anything if you know its name. As far as I can tell, anything can be connected to, even if it doesn't have the internet API. There are some computers that you can't slurp to, but you might be able to slurp from it and sidestep it. There are certain machines with interesting properties. For example, the hotel machines can unlock any arbitrary door. In real life, you might think that there might be access control lists, credentials, or asymmetric keys, but this is not true. Another machine in the police station is able to locate any person and any object filtered by type. With network access, knowing the names of all doors and being able to unlock without codes makes locked doors go extinct. The brute forcing key was pretty cool when the game introduced it, but this was a lot cooler. Some areas of the game attempt to keep you out. There's usually a quest that involves breaking into these areas, but I'd gotten inside and wiped all security measures before I knew there was a quest involved. There are a few barriers to entry. First are the laser fences, which usually check an access control list. 
you can disable them or add yourself to the list. Second are intrusion detection systems. They usually detect when people or objects enter the room and when they start hacking. They often zap folks who hack, usually causing the player to pass out. A screwdriver can solve those. Lastly, typers are the Mr. Smiths of Dorisburg. If they see you where you don't belong, they'll zap you and teleport you elsewhere. You could always move them somewhere and zap them continuously. I may have given away some of the solutions to some problems, but the possibilities go much further than what I have named. There are functions for sound and music generation, graphics drawing, even text adventures. Maybe Logo the Turtle can actually GPS itself to you when you use your credit card. Maybe all the fuse boxes announce the weather when you walk by. Maybe the lampposts serenade Pixie for you, if you care to stay in character. With the freedom that Else Heartbreak gives you, you can create extremely powerful and complex programs. This was one of the very few games that I could describe as transcendent. Not many games allow you to reprogram nearly everything. Being able to slurp everywhere, bypass all security, announce NPC positions anywhere at any time, play random sounds from lampposts, and so forth was exceedingly gratifying. After all the intriguing aspects I've highlighted, I'm not without criticisms. After experiencing everything I did, I was left craving more. The people in Dorisburg didn't seem to matter much, as their names were announced on all fuse boxes, radios, and televisions across the city as they moved around. They could not comprehend how odd it was. None of them had an appreciation for the wonders and chaos I had visited upon the city. I also wished the city were bigger, or that there were more cities. I'm accustomed to worlds with the scale of Skyrim, and Dorisburg might be the size of Riften. If only it were moddable with new objects and locations. The possibilities of an expanded Else Heartbreak 2 would compel me to reign programmatical mayhem once again. For anyone who wants to learn programming, improve in it, or just feel divine for a short while, I recommend Else Heartbreak. Sprack isn't used outside of this game, but it can be the stepping stone to learning the concepts behind programming and other languages afterwards. Thanks for listening.